Can the Duolingo app help you learn a new language? I've been using the Duolingo app for the past four years and I have been focused mostly on the Spanish course and on occasion I have taken the Japanese course. All language courses on Duolingo consist of similar types of exercises to help you learn that language faster. Hola, esto es Ideas con Bea, donde las personas hablan de sus grandes proyectos. Soy Bea, y si me gusta tu idea, podemos trabajar juntos. Pero primero, aquí hay algunas palabras que necesitas saber. Indicaciones. GPS. GPS. Escalando. Sistema. It takes very little time to complete a lesson. I've been completing the Spanish lessons in, on an average of three minutes. So you could really find time in your day to dedicate five minutes to learning a new language. The language courses have been broken down into different sections, each comprising of a different topic to help you become more fluent in that topic. For example, I've recently taken a lesson on giving commands in Spanish. On the Japanese side, you get to know how to order food. You get to understand how to write kanji. There are three different tiers to Duolingo. There is the free tier, which is the tier I've been using for the past four years. There's Duolingo Plus, which is just a subscription-based service. And then there is Duolingo Max, which is also a subscription service. It leans more into AI because it's 2024 and everything needs to have AI incorporated into it. With Duolingo Max, you'll be able to have the AI explain the answer to you just in case you were confused about the question or why your word was not the correct word. These tiers can cost a little bit of money, so if it's not in your budget, I highly suggest that you stick to the free tier because all you would need to do is just bear through an ad after completing every lesson. There's also a competitive aspect to it and you get to see where you are ranked in terms of the different leagues. And if you are in one of the top spots by the end of the week, then you will progress on to the next tier league. And that really helps you continue to be motivated to learn because I believe that competition is what us humans really need in order to learn a new skill. One of my issues with the Duolingo app is that sometimes during the Spanish speaking courses, if I make a typo, sometimes I am given credit for the question. And then other times, if I make a typo, I am dinged for my response. And I found that to be a little bit frustrating. I am not sure what the margin of error is for Duolingo to credit you with a typo versus ding you for a typo. It's really confusing. I really hope they improve that. So at the end of the day, I think that Duolingo is an excellent app for you if you want to take bite-sized Spanish lessons, Japanese lessons, whatever type of language or subject that you want to study. And I look forward to the company adding more subjects. It would be nice if they add maybe a history lesson, but for what it's used for, which is mostly learning a new language, I believe that this is one of the best language learning apps. So what do you think? Do you think you'll give Duolingo a try? Have you already used Duolingo and do you like it? Please leave all of your comments and suggestions for future content below. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.